It's the local nonprofit organization founded by three remarkable men who collectively spent a total of 100 years incarcerated after entering the prison system as teenagers. Now they use their voices to give back to the communities that they once harmed. Joining me now from 100 Years Enterprise is co-founders Lejean Fahim and Dante Gaines. Fahim, Dante, thank you both so much for joining us here today. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It is such a pleasure of mine to be able to help tell your story. And I'd love to first start off with 100 Years Enterprise. When you hear that, can you tell me what the nonprofit is all about and how it first got started? Um, it's about three men who collectively did 100 years of incarceration. Mm -hmm. So we came home and used our lived and learned experiences mm -hmm. to connect with the youth in the communities. We saw so much adversity. Yeah. Um, and how we able to connect with the youth because we look at their eyes and understand what they went through. Yeah. So what they are going through, we went through the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Neglect and abandonment, um, broken homes, um, the drug, war on drugs and things of that nature. We said, hey, we messed up a lot, so we got to use our experiences and um, our love for the people yes. to give it back. Yes. That's incredible. And when the three of you came together, how did this first this idea first spark, Dante? Well, about three years ago, uh, Fahim, he approached us. Yeah. And he said, what y'all think about doing a podcast? Uh -huh. So we called Patrick, and Patrick said, well, what I'm going to say? Fahim said, we're just going to get up there and talk. Uh -huh. And so we got up there, and we talked about our truth, about what we went through, mentally, physically, emotionally, yeah. you know, going to prison at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And that's when we got started about three years ago on our first podcast, How You Review You. Mm. That's so incredible, too, that you guys combined your voices. And there are three of you. Patrick, I, I wish he was able to be here on the sofa yes. with us today. But he's yes. behind the scenes, he's everybody. Here. He's yeah. supporting from afar. Absolutely. We love him, and we send all of our good vibes to him as well. And he's also part of this conversation. So what? in what ways does 100 Years Enterprise give back to the youth and be able to talk to the youth and get them through some of these things? Um, we were able to create partnerships. Hmm. So one, through Chevron, uh, through the Boys and Girls Club, yes. through Kobe as Richmond, through um, Greenwood Academy, uh, Keys to the Future, uh, Rising Sun, well as the probation department. So all those different organizations play in a part of us giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. So whether it was a homeless feed, mm -hmm. whether it was creating a, a community, bringing a community together as, in a forum, so we, we was the first organization to ever do that, to bring former gang members wow. and people who were caught up in the drug life, who did these different things, we brought them together two years ago. That's incredible. Twice in Richmond. Yes. Wow. Yes. And, and so, what was that like? Um, it was challenging. Um, Patrick, Dante, and myself, we spent hours trying to figure out how we was going to do it. Mm -hmm. But through Dennis, um, Dennis Johnson, the vice mayor of Richmond, he helped us mm -hmm. uh, with the help of Wesley, um, Wesley from Kobe's, Wesley Alexander. And we brought everything together, brought the community together. Uh, we had mayors, we had council members who had come out well as a community, and it was great. That's incredible. Yes. I just love the work that you guys are doing. And I have to ask Dante, what does it mean personally to be able to tell your story to the youth, but also helping them through your truth? Well, as Fahim said earlier, you know, we destroyed our community. Yeah. And so we all went through something, mm -hmm. and not just what we went through, what the victims went through, the, the pain that we caused them, right? So us being in prison, we had a, a whole lot of time to reflect on ourselves and the mm. things that we did. Yeah. So that, that gives all of us the motivation to do what we do, to be out there and save these youth from making early death decisions mm. like we did. And so we're going to continue to push yeah. and hard as we can to make a difference in our community, but not just in our communities, but all across the world, if we can. That's our goal. Yeah, that's so incredible. I got chills listening to the two of you because I could feel your passion, and I know that that also came from a lot of pain yes. Yes. in the past. What are the two of you, well, three of you, excuse me, because Patrick is involved yes, Patrick, in this, what yes. are the three of you hoping that this enterprise or this nonprofit brings to the community? We want to we bring hope. Mm. Because we come from a place where there was no hope. Yeah. yeah. Being across, we never knew when we was going to come out. Yeah. But we told ourselves, once we do, we're going to bring change. We're going to bring love. We're going to bring positive experiences. Mm -hmm. And just let people know, you can change your life. Yes. But if people wrap their arms around each other and let go mm -hmm. of the hate and create love dismiss, and dismiss the pain. It's hard for pain to go, but find a way to um, cultivate pain with love. 
Absolutely. with that mixture, and we can do a lot. Well, I know that the three of you are doing big things and you're going to continue to make such a large impact on the youth. Thank you all so much for joining us today Thank and you. telling your story. We truly appreciate it. We have it. something for you, too. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate You know what? And on that <laughs> note, everybody, let me hold it up so we can all see. If you'd like to learn more about 100 Years Enterprise, we'll have a link on our website at liveinthebay.tv.